Hey guys, we're going to be doing a video on break-even, um, the graphical method. Um, this is going to be a tough video, this is going to be the hardest math that you need to deal with this term. Um, and I need to go over it in detail because the book does not explain how to do it by hand and you have been, the last couple of the exams, expected to do it by hand and not just rely on your calculator. So I want to do it the hard way, because the hard way is always better. Um, this this stuff works because the equations for business total costs and their total revenue are actually in the form of a line. They can be displayed as a line. Um, they have the form y is equal to mx plus c. And if you're not sure about what we mean by y is equal to mx plus c, make sure you check out the equation of lines video again. It explains it in simple terms there. So if we have a look back, think back to the video where we're talking about break even manually. We use these formula here, total cost is equal to number of units sold times by variable cost per unit and uh, plus fixed costs. And the total revenue is equal to number of units sold times by selling price per unit. And I can make it clearer here why these equations are in the form of a line because number of units sold is like the x. It's, um, it, it changes uh, depending on how much you made. The variable cost per unit is like the m, the slope, and the fixed costs are like a c, the y-intercept. And here, again, number of units sold is like the x. Uh, selling price per unit is like the m, the slope. And total revenue does not have a y-intercept because it's always going to go through zero. If you sell zero things, you're not going to make any um, revenue. So that will never have a y-intercept. Uh, you will never have a c over on the side there. So we have previously said, and in the manual method, we have previously used the fact that a business breaks even when the total cost equals the total revenue. So it doesn't make any money, it doesn't lose any money. Um, when the, the money it's earning from selling each and every little thing that it makes is um, exactly equal to how much it costs to keep it running. So as such, if we display the total costs and total revenue as lines on the same grid, when they are equal, which is when they cross over, that is when the business breaks even. So we end up looking for the value of X when the lines cross, and that tells you what production level it is for the business to break even. So let's run into an example. Okay, this is going to be a long one, so bear with me. Let's say our business has production costs of, of fixed that are 88000 and a variable cost of $16 per product and they sell each product for $35 each. We're going to use the graphical method to find the break-even production level. So your first step is to work out what your line equations for this particular situation are just by substituting those numbers. And we need to work out what M is for this example. We need to work out what C is for this example. So, first you need to work out... Um, so we have total costs um, equals the variable cost per unit, which is um, 16, times by the number of units, plus the total fixed cost, which is going to be 88,000. So that is the form of our first equation that we're going to be drawing. 16x, x, the number of units is going to be represented by the numbers on the x-axis of this graph, plus 88,000. And then total revenue, how much are those products being sold for each? $35. Because if we sell a particular number of units, let's say we sold one thing, it's going to be sold for $35. If you times it by 35. So that is the form of the second line that we're trying to draw. Now we're going to be plotting these on a grid where the x-axis numbers represent the number of units. And x and the y-axis will both represent... Um, um, the y-axis will represent both the total cost and total revenue at the same time, just for the two separate lines that we're going to be drawing. And the other point is that a line has to be defined by at least two points before we can connect the dots, okay? You're not going to connect the dots between... Well, you've got you've got no dots to connect the um, um, dots between if you just have one point defined, okay? You don't know what angle the line is going to go, okay? You need at least two points defined before you can draw a line through them. So you're going to decide on two different values of x, so two different numbers of units, to substitute into this formula so you can decide what line to, um, how exactly to draw the line. So what we're going to do is represent total costs 
with a red line because it's bad costs and the total revenue line is going to be a blue one and blue dots because we're selling things. It's a good thing. So let us uh, move down. Uh, I'm going to rewrite the formulas. Uh, I'm going to rewrite those equations up here. Total costs equals 16x plus 88,000. Uh, total rev equals 35x. I'll just reiterate the fact that that one's going to be blue. This is going to be red. So hopefully we can hang out just on this graph here. So let's just say, for simplicity's sake, we're going to start at zero. The problem we have here is that we have this limited grid. Now you have a limited page in your book, and we're already playing with numbers like 88,000. That formula there is telling, that equation there is telling you that the total costs line is going to cross the y-axis at a number 88,000. We have no idea what our scale needs to be. So... My suggestion is that you work out manually, as before, what the break even, um, what the break even is going to actually be, what production level is going to be. So let's do that manually underneath. Um, the selling price per unit is thirty-five, and the cost per unit is sixteen. So the marginal income per unit, marginal income per unit is going to be 35 take 16 it's going to be 19 and then the break even level, we're actually working out the answer before we even um, uh, find it using the graph but we need to draw a graph of this that's why it's important for us to find where those lines are going to cross over before we even draw the graph break even level is going to be the total Fixed costs, which is 88,000. 88,000 divided by the marginal income per unit. And let's work that out in the calculator. That's going to be 4631.578947. You cannot make a part of a whole product, so you round up. So it's going to be 4632 um, made to break even. So we have just worked out that those lines that we're going to be trying to draw are going to cross at 4632. So our graph needs to have that 4632 somewhere in the middle. So we can now start deciding what... Um, what the x-axis at least has to be. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We have 26 lines going up and we need 4,000, we need around 5,000 in the middle. So how about we say Let's make this, let's go up in um, a thousands for every four boxes. Two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. So our break even point is going to be a between, well, this is four thousand five hundred. Our break even level is going to be somewhere around there, this area, okay? So as long as your graph scale is going to cover that, is going to fit that in somewhere, you're fine. Okay, that's that's okay. And this is not going to be accurate because we only have four boxes to play with and we're talking thousands of units. So that is the x-axis decided. How do we know how tall the graph needs to be? When we know that the graph is going to cross the y-axis up here at 88,000. We need to work out how tall it needs to be, and let's use a similar method. We know that it's going to break even at 4632, 
So plug that number into the formula for even the revenue. Revenue is equal to uh, 35 times by x. x, and we know that the graphs are going to cross over with each other at 4632, so we want that to be somewhere on the grid. We're going to use this substitution to tell us at least how high the graph needs to be. So 35 times by 4632, it's going to be 162120. The graph's going to cross um, over with each other, the break-even point is going to happen at y being 162120. 162120 is going to be have to be here somewhere. So we need to decide on a scale where that's going to fit. So that's going up in hundreds of thousands. That's going up in hundreds of thousands, so how about we go that being 50,000, that being 100,000. So you're going up by 50,000 every four uh, grid squares. 100,000, 150,000, that line, 200,000. So our break even, our crossover point for the graphs is going to be at 162120. It's going to be like somewhere around here, around that area. This is going to be 175,000. And, and this line here is going to be 1625. 162,500 so it's going to be a little under that um, the break even the, the graphs are going to cross a little under that so we have established scales that are definitely going to fit our graph so now we need to decide on uh, two points um, two substitutions of x to give us two points and the first one let's do the total costs so we're going to do total costs calculations in red. And let's substitute x being 0 to start off with. The total costs formula is 16x plus 88,000. We are substituting a production level of 0 plus 88,000. 16 times of 0 is 0, so total costs when you make zero things is going to be the straight up the fixed cost. It's still going to cost you to pay wages, rent, all that other stuff. You just haven't made anything. So it doesn't cost you any money to make each particular thing. So we have worked out that the graph for total costs is going to cross the y-axis at 88,000. So let's put that in there. Let's work out where this is to start off with that's 50,000 so this is going to be uh, 75,000 and we want 88,000 this is going to be 875 sorry, 87,500, so the graph is going to cross, uh, the graph is going to cross the y-axis around 88,000, just a little bit over that. This is definitely not going to be super accurate because I'm using a fat stylus, so bear with me, it's just showing you how to do it. Now let's work out total costs with another substitution. Um, let's say, let's choose a number greater than the break-even, so we make sure that we um, draw the line past the break-even. Let's make it a break-even of, um, let's make an x of 5,000. 
So it's going to be substituted into there. 88,000. 16 times by 5,000 plus 88,000. That's going to be 168,000. So what we're saying is the other point on the total costs line is going to be where x is 5,000, y is going to be 168,000. So where x is 5,000, y is going to be 168,000. So that is going to be somewhere around... Somewhere around here. So let's put another cross there. It's, again, it's not going to be super accurate. So we have two points on a line, and I'm going to try and draw a line through these two. I don't have a ruler. It's on a fat stylus on an iPad screen, so deal with it if it's a bit wonky. This is just to show you how. I don't even... I, 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 would, I would give you $100 if I cross somewhere near the actual break-even level here. So that is the first line done. Now we need to define the second line, which is going to be in blue, total revenue. And we will use the same values of x, the same um, production levels, to define our line. So we're going to use x is equal to 0. And that's going to be 35 times by x. That's the formula. Um, 35 times by 0. And as we said before, if you make nothing, then you're not going to sell anything. It doesn't matter how much you're selling it for. You're not going to sell one. It's going to be 0 revenue. So that is our first point, nice and easy. I'll tell you right now, the total revenue will always go through zero on the graph. So that is our first point. And then we want to use the same um, x substitution as the other line, because we know it will fit on the graph. x is equal to 5,000. So 35 times by 5,000, that's going to be... 175,000. Lucky for us, that's actually on our grid, nice and accurate. 175,000 for when x is um, 5,000. So we shall move there, that's x is there. And 175,000. Is there. We have a, a point there. So we have now defined the revenue line. So we are to try to draw through this cross and across to the other one, a straight line, and hopefully where they cross is close to the break-even level that we worked out earlier. We already answered the question. We just needed to do all this other stuff to set up to draw the graph. So, what we have here is a crossover at around this point. Let's say it crossed over at this line here. What would that be? That would be 4,000. This one would be 4,250. This, this one would be... Four five hundred. This one would be four seven fifty. So, with our inaccurately drawn lines um, and not so great positioning, we have determined that the break even would be around break even around forty seven fifty units, and that is pretty 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 close to what we said it should be, okay? It is inaccurate because our scale is massive. Our four grid points here are trying to represent a thousand units across. That's that's very inaccurate. Along here, it's even worse. On the y-axis, we are trying to represent 50,000 units in four grid squares. 
So uh, just as I said before, I'm, re I'm surprised that I'm even close, but that is what you're after. Now, when you're in a test situation, you'll be able to take your time and draw this very accurately with a ruler, with um, a really narrow pencil, and get it close, but you're not expected to get it absolutely perfect, because your scale is always going to be um, a little inaccurate. There's um, the thickness of your pencil to consider, and you're not going to be able to fit a thousand grid squares onto your page. All right, So this is... Alright, this is pretty good, especially for a fat stylus and an iPad screen and lines wigglier than a snake, okay? Um, so hopefully that helps you to draw these graphs manually. Um, it is a long slog. Uh, this is the longest video that I'll probably ever produce, but I want to go through it step by step so that you have a proper example and not have to rely on the calculator to do it. The main thing is to understand that you need to look at the questions, look at the questions, look at the numbers, and firstly, make your formulas. Put your formulas into the form of a line in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, and then realize that you are going to be plotting these um, equations on a grid where the x-axis represents the number of units and the y-axis represents both the total revenue and total costs, okay? And finally, you need to decide on, well, firstly, you need to work out what the break-even is manually, actually work out the answer before you even draw the graph, so that you know where to center your graph, so that you have an idea of what the scale is going to be. Then after that, you can decide on values of x to substitute into your formulas to start drawing lines through because you can't draw a line through one point you don't know what angle it's going to be at you need at least two so here we decided to use production level or x of zero and x of five thousand that let us determine where our points would be that would determine where our points would be and so we were able to draw lines through them so hopefully that helps and i will see you on the next video this is here